Who? Um, welcome back, Achievers, to your reacts to a very special PlayStation event that just happened hours ago. I'm one of your hosts, as always, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually through the internet with the power of Wi-Fi, Alex. I have all the power. Alex, we're just going to get right into this remember patreon.com slash gg achievers give us a buck supports us keeps mics on lights on alex's dogs fed what what is, okay let's start with the event let's start with the pre-order madness that happened after the event and then we can also cover you know people up getting upset and all that but i want to go over this very great event i want to say mm. a very fun event Oh yeah, yeah. And we're just gonna go right into it. It opens up. Uh, first off, Alex, how were, how hyped were you for this? Just real quick, um, were you excited for this? Not cr not crazy hype yet, but like I was excited because I'm like, okay, I'm hoping that you know they show. I'm hoping they show some stuff, you know, mm -hmm. just like because uh, I don't want it to be like a, one of those, um, uh, one of those other ones. Like what was it? Wasn't it Mark Cerny? Was it four? The the one with the with uh that remember that talk or whatever and they had like those cardboard people <laughs> I, but yes that was like mark cerny the, just, yeah that was that okay. was the um like, like he's cool that was the game God, dev I conference i couldn't understand it yeah okay, he, I could he not was figure out he was breaking down was how the system worked and uh it was definitely not meant for people to watch that um but yeah yeah that that yeah i was uh very excited for this um but uh mm -hmm. um and I, I loved the entire showcase so let's get into it opening no, I did. I open did opens up with final fantasy 16 being announced and announced being a playstation console exclusive huge deal alex so far the That's game cool. from what i saw it looks awesome the summons it looks like they're tied to actual people now possibly mm -hmm. um it, that gets me very excited what it, uh, you're you're not as a final fantasy fan as much as i am but you enjoy it uh quite a bit what did you think no i definitely I mean, I've played mo I played a bunch of them, and mm -hmm. I do like that we're going back to not the futuristic mm -hmm. robot thing that we that we've known lately. It's back to like more, uh, how would you say, medieval? medieval I guess ish kind of like yeah. It, Final Fantasy has this unique medieval kind of take that I always respected and, and liked, um, mm -hmm. because they do kind of have like a future element but at the same time there's still swords and stuff yeah uh but yeah i do too i like the medieval stuff that i prefer that um but mm -hmm. but yeah they announced it as a contra exclusive i did like where it seems to be like i said summons are people they're fighting each other something about the two mm -hmm. people at the end seem to have some sort of beef with each other this looks good uh and i'm yeah. just i'm just overall excited for that game now question uh do you damn i i i, I was legit, I literally about to ask you the question i lost it uh oh so uh, I'll come back to me okay <laughs> we'll come back to you remember console uh it said console exclusive meaning it will be only on ps5 and presumably i believe ps4 but i don't think oh, they've that's what that was my that. question oh go ahead now do do you how do you feel about it being exclusive only to the PlayStation not, and not coming uh, to Xbox? I mean, of course, I don't like that because I like Xbox more. I prefer to play on my mm. Xbox, but I will have both. So I'll be honest, this doesn't really affect me. It does, I think, okay. lessen the... How do I say this? It, it does lessen the popularity of Final Fantasy even a bit because not everyone mm -hmm. is playing the game on every console. But I'm sure Square Enix got a big old fat check for putting this just on PlayStation. And it will be on PC. Mm. Just so everyone knows, it is on PC. So yeah, PS5, presumably PC. Um, I don't no mention of PS4, but I would assume it is, but maybe not. Moving on to Spider-Man Miles Morales, shown off, and well, okay, this is when it was like, all right, we're we're in a good spot right now. Miles mm. jumping out with the you know with the bag all suited up bioelectricity spewing out of his body. This looks incredible. <clears throat> yeah, it it looks really good. I'm really excited for how mm. 
of the gameplay. I like that we just jumped in straight into gameplay. Yep, straight into it. Then didn't, didn't delay for literal a second. They talked. The dev talked a little bit, and then we just wa- ran right into the to the uh, kind mm-hmm. of quick time events that uh, the original Spider Man Marvel game is known for. And I cannot wait for this. The soundtrack popped off with the beats and the drums. Oh, I'm, mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. This is this is probably my most anticipated game of this fall next to cyberpunk uh this looks great yeah it's uh, i'm definitely excited for it because i've never watched i never got a chance to watch the spider-verse movie mm, really so after watching Alex, that tra- hold after on. watching that gameplay trailer Whoa, i watched it today oh you did yeah i watched it today oh quick give Just- me a quick review 10 seconds what did you think Oh, I want more. Oh God, right? It's uh, awesome. All right, go uh, yeah. back to this. What? No, the the game the gameplay just it, it just looks so much fun. Making I I wanted more, so that that's why I wanted to get. I watched the movie, mm-hmm. and I'm like, now all right, now give me the game. Yeah, I'm so excited. And uh, just so everyone knows, uh, since it's a launch title, we don't know pricing for that game specifically. Fifty dollars, not too bad. Fifty bucks. Yeah. Um, that does tell you, of course, it is a smaller game, but I think it will be comparable to a full title experience, at least. No, uh, oh, the, it's fifty bucks for PS Five. What? Uh, right? Yes, right, correct. So, yeah, Alex, you're bringing up a good point. It is on PS Four. Um, are you hinting at it being cheaper on PS Four? I don't know that. Does is it? I I is it forty? Isn't it? I, I don't. I, I I thought it was forty on PS Four. Um, that's a good question. That. If you could do me a favor and look up while I entertain the audience, mm-hmm. uh, fifty bucks for that, and then a side note: for seventy dollars, you can get Spider-Man Myers Morales and the Game of the Year edition for Spider-Man, the of course twenty seventeen game uh, that came out, which is fantastic. I love that game, and a mm. even better side note. That game is a different trophy list. Yes, I will be replaying this. I will be replatinuming it on PS5. I cannot wait. I am buying the seventy dollars version. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, I see. I, that's what I was getting confused with. I the it's on both PS4 and five for fifty. If for fifty, okay, and then so it's seventy with for the ultimate. Okay. Yeah. So fifty and seventy yeah. for the ultimate. That's um, what I I oh. saw that and I but I didn't read the byline. No, it's fine. It's fine. Fifty seventy. Shout out to uh anyone getting a ps5 that wants that game it's very surprising very surprising they're releasing on on ps4 we'll get into that later at the very end i want to bring out some maybe hypocrisy we've been hearing about from playstation uh Mm. but not important right now next alex hogwarts legacy shown set in late 1800s seems to follow a centralized create a character it looks like Mm. because they kept showing different people uh, constantly doing different yeah. main objective like things they said you can build a story so assumably you go into a house choose your house kill, create a character or you're talking with people um building relationships and things this looks phenomenal i cannot wait for now this. i'm wondering since it's an rpg mm-hmm. is there going to be multiplayer involved or is it just a single player uh, in, uh experience it's a good point um it did almost look multiplayer like in a few yeah few scenes i was like is that a is that like a dungeon you're with with other people a, it, i think it's possible yeah, uh, like, although i would prefer not to have that but i could see them doing so a multiplayer you, you prefer it being a single player yeah thing? but so i like, say that about uh, everything and then i only play multiplayer games so i mean i'm a hypocrite mm-hmm. but <laughs> i would prefer a single yeah. player game as I said, you don't you don't want me to join in on your Hogwarts world and we go on uh, wizarding. I mean, that sounds kind of quest fun. together. That sounds kind of fun. Well, it, I'm curious on what the combat's gonna look like. Am, are, like, are we just? Yeah, that's true. Are we learning like different skill, like different spells, or? Well, I assume. Or is there like a, I mean, is there like just a normal skill tree? It just depends on if this is single player or multiplayer. If it's multiplayer, that's there's how probably they would do it. yeah. If there's multiplayer, there's probably different skill trees you can do and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, very excited about that. There is a hubbub on the interwebs right now because jk rowling has said some troubling things for most people and they're actually trying to find out if they should buy the game and support jk rowling and mm-hmm. things like that um i will let the audience well, decide that i don't think we need to talk about it today go ahead well i read something that she's not she's not even uh 
uh, she has nothing to do with the game. Like she was right. She hasn't really done anything with the game. Right, but she still makes money off the sale. So it's one no, of those. Yeah, it's that. one of those things where people are like that. That's PR speak. Um, good kudos to them. And I feel bad for them because they're getting a lot yeah. of flack for something they didn't even do. So yeah, that sucks for the devs. I mean, I understand what happened, but like, I mean, don't make it. Don't let it stop you from liking. You know, from some uh, stopping being able to play from something you like like yeah if you, like, if you that world I, just I, I i i'm very middle of the ground i'm sure i'm going to upset a lot of people at this but i'm very middle of the ground if you do not want to buy the game do not buy the game don't support her if you don't if you don't like what she said don't support the game don't buy it just know that you are damaging the dev studio if that is greater for you that is fine do you we're all adults make your own decision it's your money as well i cannot wait for this game so i am buying this mm-hmm. day one if you have any qualms with that, I found a lot of people, um, specifically Anna Brisbane, uh, someone I follow on Twitter, great follow, by the way. She said she's buying the game. She will donate the exact same cost of the game to her favorite trans charity. So that's something you could do to kind of mm-hmm. levy the guilt if you feel guilty for liking or being excited for the game. Just donate to a charity. Make yourself feel a little better. Moving on. Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War were shown off. It was cool but it did mm. very much reek of um like action 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 like l- look at look at this he's he's gonna shoot this guy and stab him in the neck in the face it's like ah it looks, <laughs> looks cool but looks like every call of duty i played so i'm excited for a call of duty aspect but it doesn't look like anything new it's funny because we were watching uh, I had, my little brother was in the room yeah and um we were watching the trailer mm-hmm. and at the very end it was show it's just call of duty cold war and he was like wait this was Call of Duty? I was like, yeah, what'd you think it was? He was like, I don't know, but I didn't think it was Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks it looks good. I'm excited for this. I'm, no, I'm, it is. I'm playing it for sure. Um, um, uh, this weekend? Yeah, for, for a good tidbit, PlayStation players do get the alpha only yep. on PlayStation for this weekend. From Saturday to Sunday, you today. get to play the alpha. Yes, and you can preload it today. So if you guys want to, you can preload that. As of listening to this beautiful video, you can preload it and play it for yourself. Yep. What did you think overall of it, though? It, it, it wasn't much. It was a, kind of like a mini segment of a mission. RCXD's um, are back. That looks cool. Yes, I, I, I like the whole RCXD and yeah. I, uh, the little boost and stuff. That was that looked fun. Um, I'm glad that we're kind of going... Uh, like, it's, you know how everything's going back to modern, then yeah. they're keeping it that way. I mean, it, it it's... This is between... Wasn't it Black, between Black Ops 1 and 2? This is technically after the story one, part? correct? Yeah, it's after one, right? Yeah, and and I, I okay. is this technically like a reboot? I don't even know. I think they're I think they're I, doing like the thing where they just kind of pretend like other games didn't happen. I have no I idea. I think it's though. in between, so it's just like it, like I don't know, but I, I can't wait for it. I'm I can't definitely gonna get it. I am definitely getting this. I am excited. I will be playing probably on my Xbox as soon as it comes out. Oh, for sure. Resident Evil Village boy does that look scary but it looks fun i like seven yeah um and this is just yes. the next game it looks it looks really fun it looks like we're getting more of the lore from umbrella Co- corporation and chris redfield and all that what's going on with him uh this mm-hmm. looks it, this looks interesting with a almost outlast vibe i'd say which is mm-hmm. which is curious because i i'm assuming outlast was inspired by resident evil and it looks like this resident evil is inspired by outlast so that's that's very funny, but it well, looks that's cool. That's the last one was. Yeah, yeah, that's how, um, that is how the last one was. Now, the last one was VR. Do you think this one's going to be VR compatible? That's a good point. Um, hmm. Because I, I if, don't know if the VR one did so uh, well last time. Last time I've heard that it was like more terrifying. I tried it. Oh, I'm sure it was. And I beat the whole game normally, and I tried yeah. it on VR, and I couldn't even go like I, 10 minutes. Dude. Yeah, it was I don't just think. terrifying. Yeah, I don't think I could play that in VR just because it seems like a little, a little too much. Uh, I don't want to yeah, be it, deathly it was afraid. I'm not. Too much. I like horror, but I I can't be deathly afraid. I don't like that. I don't like. Yeah, I don't that think thing. I could be part of it. Yeah, yeah, that too. You do feel like you're a part of it too, which is, I guess, props to the game because you do actually feel like you're in it. No, for sure. But yeah, I, I if there is a VR mode, I mean, it depends on if PlayStation paid them. I assume they paid them for the other mode yeah. to to do it. So if they pay them, I assume they would make one. I don't know. I ho- hopefully because it's just cool to see more VR stuff. But maybe mm-hmm. I, I, it might be too. It might have been too much work. But again, if they pay them, I'm sure they do it. Uh, yeah. And that is coming 2021. No specific date given. 
Um, comes to, of course, all pl- platforms. PS4, PS5, P- uh, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S. Mm. Deathloop. Re-brought up again. Um, I'm seeing this game a lot more recently, and it's v- looks very good. It reminds me of um, Dishonored mixed with um, Hitman. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, okay. it, so it looks like you are trying to set up murders of specific, I guess, targets. So they showed off in that demo, like, you know, the, the two people he needs to kill at once. So he has to get that mm. guy to a party so he can then go to that party and kill that guy uh, with the other dude there, too. So it looks cool. It looks like a Dishonored meets Hitman type scenario. But then also you have, I forget her name, but the but the antagonist which is a player that can invade your game and kill you and have you restart the progress of that mission, which is stressful. It sounds like a messed up Dark Souls. Yeah. I'm, I was watching it, and I just... It, it, the, the more I see of this game, yeah. I don't know why, but the more I'm just like, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. I'm not too excited for it for some well, reason. I mean, you didn't really love like the new Dishonored games, right? Or Prey? Well, I played the hell out of the first one. Uh, I played a little bit of Prey. I never finished it. Yes, yeah, so that's what I mean, though. But, like, you didn't like um, him that much, so. you. I, I, yeah, that's what I, I'm saying. Like, just, I'm not too surprised you didn't like this one because you, you liked the first Dishonored. You didn't play any of the other ones. And then if you didn't like Prey, like, this looks like a combination of all that. Yeah, I don't know. It looks cool, but it's mm-hmm. not for me. Um, I believe it's a PlayStation launch exclusive, so I believe it's only a yeah. exclusive for a timed amount we don't know when but it is 2021 mm-hmm. something i got very excited about devil may cry 5 special edition yep uh this is you... this it looks like a collection of devil may cry 5 and now you get to play as a uh, dot uh not i'm sorry not Dante virgil who mm-hmm. this looks really cool i'm gonna get this just to be able to play as virgil because virgil is dope with his giant yeah. katana sword cannot wait for this they did they did put at the end available at launched digitally so it won't have a physical release it will just be digital at launch um Mm. and no exclusivity given so you can assume xbox series x and xbox series s a game i'm i can't say i'm into odd world soul storm i've never i've never been like i've never checked out odd world yeah i've never even tried the games uh the uh, the creator lauren landing is really cool he's hilarious Mm -hmm. um but i i never got into the to the games so i yeah. I'm, i'll try this one out but i never got into the game so i don't have too much to say it looks cool though mm-hmm. five nights at freddy's security breached was announced yes. scary game it was very much the along the lines of um okay another five nights at freddy's keep going it keep looks make. like they're trying to change it too i think they're trying to really make use of that like like of uh what's the word i'm looking for like power like like a big game most of the, most of the games have just been you sitting on a computer and you're looking at like you know cameras maybe I feel like this one is more like you actually open like you get open and you actually get to walk around yeah they did give that premise of you're actually walking around i'll be curious if they actually do that uh but that's mm-hmm. very 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 exciting uh to for five nights for your friends not me uh there's a thousands of them but i'm sure you guys will love it next up something i will enjoy demon souls was showed us like i assume is the first mission i've never played the original one but good lord did it look good that was kind of insane that it was it was it was almost like you were looking at fake footage of a game that you'll never play (laughs) right like like fan art like like when people make like fan games or something and they like use unreal engine to make something like super realistic this looked mm-hmm. insane how how crazy the graphics looked um and this is i believe available at launch so demon yeah demon souls is available at launch ps5 uh exclusive and good lord i'm excited yeah, is this no something same. you're trying I'm, i know you liked dark souls oh, sure. but like are you in the mood to get like pissed off again <laughs> and see i uh, i told i was watching this to my wife was like oh i'm excited uh like and i was like i was like if i rage uh don't worry about me and she was like <laughs> She looked upset, and I was like, "What?" And she was like, "You won't play Overcooked because you rage in this game, That's and you're point. gonna play this." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "I don't know." Overcooked's man. I just, way like, easier I fell off than Demon Souls. Like, for some reason, this make it, this speaks more to me. Right, right. Um, it looks, but I never it looks played fun. Demon Souls, so I definitely yeah. I'm gonna try it because I played all the other Dark Souls and mm. Bloodborne. 
Um, and uh, they go with a Fortnite showcase. They just show that Fortnite is available. Um, if you had any question, there it is. Fortnite is available. They already said it was, but I guess this is kind of like a reminder, just in case you forgot. Fortnite's on there. I think a lot of games, um, Rainbow Six, Destiny Two, all you know, all the games and services, I believe, have announced that they're available at launch. So um, I don't think anyone has to worry that their game won't be available. Uh, and then an interesting turn of events i would say playstation plus collection was announced this is going to be a new benefit for ps plus members coming to ps5 you will get a giant collection of games pref um assumably on uh uh i i guess a permanent basis so what you do is you go on there you subscribe to playstation plus and you get instant access to this collection of games that you can then play Mm-hmm. Alex, have you seen any other details about this? Then, if, for everyone listening, we are recording the morning after the event. Have you seen anything remotely I, give mm-hmm. us any details it, it, about this? All I've, uh, I haven't seen anything really. All that's saying that it's a part of your PlayStation Plus subscription mm-hmm. uh, uh, when you get on PS Five. That's mm-hmm. what you'll be getting. Yeah, so they did. So I, I'm going to reiterate a couple things. I wanted to make sure I got everything right. So you'll download and play games directly. This is not streaming. Sony said, uh, "Oh, excuse me." Sony said the entire collection will be available when the PS5 launches on November 12th. The PlayStation Plus collection should make for a decent way of upping your launch library, uh, is what they said. So I'm going to name off every game included in the collection. God of War, Last of Us Remastered, Uncharted 4, Thief's End, Battlefield 1, Monster Hunter World, Fallout 4, Final Fantasy 15, The Last Guardian, Ratchet and Clank, Infamous Second Son, Days Gone, Bloodborne, Detroit Become Human, Batman Arkham Knight, Mortal Kombat 10, Persona 5, Until Dawn, and Resident Evil Biohazard. So, this seems like a direct combatant to Game Pass in the mm. sense of a launch library, not in the sense of a subscription service you pay for and you immediately get access to a bunch of games that you can immediately download and play. This seems like a combatant to look at our launch library. It is better now than it was before. Now, mm. I will say a lot of these games, I would say the majority of people who are going to get a day one PS5 will have played or have already known about and won't want to play it but i could be wrong i would love for people maybe that this entices them to get hit us up twitter at emu that was an at crazy super scatter or in the comments below let us know i don't know who this is technically for unless this is here to stick around like let's say for the entire generation that makes a lot more sense because yeah. that entices uh like they add more uh collection uh titles that's another thing will they add more titles i would assume so right it was it will this uh, here's an idea alex will this um take over the free games you get and it just ad- adds to the co- like place it's just a collection now hmm. that that could be a thing so like instead of getting uh the two games just per yeah. month or two or three games per month as a just a, um, just a new game gets added to the collection yeah so, like you said, this would, could be like their Game Pass. Mm-hmm. So, in every month or or however time they want mm-hmm. between each game, they'll add a game or mm-hmm. two games, and they'd be like, "Okay, here's your next one." Mm-hmm. And this looks very much like, "Hey, if you didn't have a PS4, these are the games you missed out on." But I, I yeah. this will be super valuable for people later on. I feel not necessarily now because I feel like everyone buying a PS5 right now is going to have had a giant collection they've already bought for. But I could be mm-hmm. wrong again. If you if if you disagree, hit us up. I need to I need to know people's stance on this. For me, I, mean, sh- I have literally, not figuratively, I've literally played all of these games. So there's not a single game oh, I'm like, sure. oh cool, I get to play that because I missed it. So yeah, no, I think we've had we've played all of these. Yeah. So okay, cool, cool. Um, I'm glad I'm glad it exists because this is like know, this is a stepping stone to something cooler. I think yeah no it's definitely good for people there because i mean i've known people i know people that don't don't even have a ps4 
and they were wanting to do that one, but they kind of been waiting for a while. And now that mm-hmm. PS5 is out, maybe yeah. they'll get that. And now they'll have all those That's games true. that they've never played. People do do that. I do know several people who skip generations, and I mm-hmm. just I never understand those people, but they do. And they they just wait a generation yeah. and they go to the next one. So I mean, I get it for specific people, but I I I hope it gets I hope it gets cooler. That that right mm-hmm. there is like a good starting point. Like all right, you all right, you did the bare minimum. Now let, let'll make it cooler. Then we got to the juicy stuff, Alex. We got the mm. date. Date surprise to literally nobody. PS5, $500. Dig, uh, mm. Sorry, with disc, digitally $400. Um, mm. And that is your local equivalent in whatever currency you own. Um, that is, of course, US is what I said. So just the conversion rate would uh, basically match that. Um, PS5 will be available in these territories, November 12th. Again, PS5 will be available in these territories. Starting in November 12th, United States, Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea. Those will all be available to you November 12th. And then November 19th, one week later, will be the rest of the world will be available to that's buy. two days after Xbox. Two days. So Xbox will be released the first. Two days. That is insane. I thought they would at least wait a week. Mm-hmm. Nope. Two days after and Xbox comes out, you immediately get a PS5. That is no time at all. No time at all. Mm-hmm. Very. I don't really prefer either way, but I guess this is a cooler way of getting it because I have both systems within the, the span of three days, which is very cool. Mm-hmm. I feel like if they, 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 they did this, excuse me, they did this date so close, they, they should have just done it the same day if they were going to be so close. Ooh, see, but I wonder if there's some sort of like unspoken unspoken like agreement that they don't do that because mm-hmm. that's like a dick Maybe. move to retailers because that's yeah. a lot of traffic at once rather than spreading that's it true. out um so ho- i i would assume that's what it is um I, and and also that's i don't know yeah no i i think it would be like a be like hey don't do it on the same day because that really screws us and our traffic our sites will speaking of which alex our sites will go down i want to get into this but we'll finish this out but yeah cr- sites will crash when when the ps5 was available and it did mm-hmm. it did um uh, uh moving on from that yes ladies and gentlemen we got that music we got his voice we got that sign god of war ragnarok coming 2021 oh. boy i am excited for this holy Boy. crap i'm excited i cannot wait ragnarok 2021 give it to me immediately can uh, i not for alex not for a not for a second do i believe it is coming out in 2021 but we know it exists at least and that's cool 2021 it will be it is said to be there i think it will be 2022 but mm-hmm. hey this tells everyone who's on the hey, fence I mean, about getting a PS5, hey, don't don't forget about God of War. Come come back. We got God of War coming. We know that's what you want. Come in. Come on. Let's go. I'm just it. It's hard for me to th- to, to see it too because uh, like I, I think I I'm hoping it's 2021. Right. But I feel like it, yeah, it is hard to believe because like when we think about the first God of War, uh-huh. we didn't see we didn't get the game till two years later after seeing the reveal trailer yeah. for it right and then the year after didn't we get the gameplay trailer and then the year after that is when we got the game yes correct yeah we got the gameplay spotlight yeah, so with this then we, we, we got a teaser of the logo and the the voice and then it says it's going to be here next year um, it's hard to believe but i hopefully i give specific instructions to cory balog if i'm wrong he can come over and beat the fuck out of me i don't trust that man for a second saying telling me yeah. 2021 now you pointed this out last night when we were talking about i did it. i did i wanted to bring this up as well go ahead uh, um you since you the, they gave in such a, a short time right do you think it's going to be as long as the original or shorter kind of like the miles morales Las, i like, think we're getting Las, miles morales i will bring up a quote that sean layden came out first off again sean layden is gone and we from? never know what happened to that man anyways <laughs> sean <laughs> Wow, okay. He just it would it's like if Phil Spencer just left one day and we never talked about him again. This mm-hmm. is weird. Anyways, Sean Layden once said, "Triple A gaming has to change. It takes too long to pay it it takes too long to make and you don't make enough money off of them." 
Mm-hmm. What is a perfect way to circumvent that? You make a giant IP first game, and then you make an iteration to that title using similar tech and similar assets in a much shorter time frame to make even more money off of that initial time spend. I think God of War Ragnarok is going to be close to half, two-thirds the amount of hours spent in God of War 1, so the most recent one, 2018 God of War, will be about half to two-thirds the amount of length and uh, actual things to do in the game. I don't think, I think we're getting a Miles Morales-like conversion rate. That's what I think. I would love, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I would love to be wrong. I want it, I want God of War 2. I want it to be 100 hours. I want to play it until my eyes bleed. I, I don't think I've said it. I, I th- did I say it? On, no, yeah, because we weren't doing it in 2018. Were we? I don't remember. Well, I don't think we were doing podcast 2018 because it's been a year. So I wouldn't have said this. Yeah. But God yeah. of War 2018 would have w- is the only game in I can't remember the last time that it felt like I was dying not playing it. I remember going oh, yeah. to work yeah. the next day and I f- couldn't I it, it was like you're sick. I couldn't stop thinking about it. My I f- it felt it felt oh, like sure. someone was like beating my head like go play the game. Go play the, like like go go. You need to go back. You need to play it. You need to finish. Yeah, yeah, it. You got to you need to know about the story. Like what's going on here? What's going on? And and I am beyond excited for this game. Mm. Beyond excited. I will believe 2021 when that motherfucker is sitting in my PS5. What do you think, Alex? Am I wrong? What do you think? I, 2021. I I'll I'll hope I'll give it holiday 2021. What do you What do you think? Length? What, 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 like, oh, off the top of rip. Uh, uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? What I, What do you I think? I feel like it's like in between. I don't feel like mm. it's going to be as short as like let's say the Uncharted Lost Legacy. But okay. I don't I don't know if it'll be as long as the original due to the the time that it's been given to be worked on. Mm. But like I said, it, so like. I mean, I would love it to be as as huge. Same. Because uh, I even said, you know, once they had the first game, they, they wouldn't take yeah, as long he did to say make that. The, the next ones. But I'm like, he did say it. I I don't know. He did say that. I, 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 I think it will take shorter. I just mm. don't think it's coming out next year. I just don't. I think it's going to be, they're going to say it's 2021. We're going to get near fall. They're going to be like, hey, it's delayed to March. No, May. Yeah. They'll say like May. May okay, well, I mean, and it's only been about in April. Yeah, and it, and it will be like three years since the other game. It will, it will be like almost perfectly three years. I believe yeah. that. I believe that. Now on to, I'm sure sad news for everybody, but it makes sense economically. All PS first party games will be seventy dollars. This was announced in a roundabout way. Of course, they just showed the prices for everything, so every game will mm-hmm. be seventy dollars. Alex, upsetting. What are you on with the seventy dollar range? Um, no. I mean, uh, I feel like it, it's an appropriate price for mm-hmm. what you're getting. Right. Yeah. The quality, the hours spent. I mean, video games is probably the only I medium mean, it, that gives you like value to each dollar spent. Right. Like I a mean, dollar buys you an hour of entertainment almost. I mean, I just, uh, it's it's. It's it's not the first time, or excuse the baby in the background. No, you're fine. Um, it, it's not the first time that we've seen seventy bucks on a on a on a price tag for video games, like as a standard. Of course. I mean, think about even a uh, like very uh, rare Wii games. Uh, what, what was that one? Uh, Xenoblade, the first one, yeah. Xenoblade Chronicles, was eighty dollars, and I think I saw it a year ago, and it was still eighty dollars. Yeah. So I mean, like I mean, we've seen seventy dollars games. People are freaking out that that's so much. I'm like, you've been paying this for deluxe editions and press. I mean, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, we'll live. We've been paying sixty dollars in inflated money for a long time. So mm-hmm. this is just more of a course correction rather than just more money just being out. Interesting. Um, every game will be seventy bucks now. I don't. I have no doubt about it. Every game next gen will be seventy bucks. Brand new. Some games won't be, yeah. for instance, Spider-Man Miles and Morales. That's 50 bucks. That's because it's a shorter experience. I can see that. There's still going to be, you know, 
priced games specifically. Well, oh, you know we're buying that seventy dollar one. You know we are, Alex. You know we are. <laughs> you absolutely. I'm know definitely we are. re-getting all those trophies. Again I'm Spider Man. I'm getting a second platinum in Spider Man for sure. Moving. I, uh, watching all this with the whole Spider Man Miles Morales watching the movie, I'm I'm missing one trophy for Spider Man. I'm going to go back. You got to get, get back. You got to get back in that. You got to. You got to go. Moving on to the launch library. This. As of 17th of September is what the launch library for the PS5 is going to look like. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Astro's Playroom, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Demon Souls, Destruction All-Stars, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, remember it's digital, Fortnite, of course, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Sackboy, A Big Adventure, and of course, all the other... Uh, Free to play game, you know, Destiny 2 was confirmed. I believe Rainbow Six Siege is coming. Don't know if it's their launch, but I know it's coming. Games like that will be there available eventually. Alex, we had just Mm -hmm. covered the PS5 date or price reveal event. Hell of a show. Hell of a show. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Now, a lot of details were left out of the conference that is very questionable. So I mm. I think it's pretty obvious that they've been sitting on this video for a very long time. If you noticed in the actual video, there is no pre-order date, and there's not specific mm. dates on launch titles because, and this is all my, I could I could be wrong, because I think that they just had this video literally ready for most likely a month, maybe even longer, and they were just sitting on it. And event whenever Xbox was going to say their thing, they would wait whatever days they needed to, and they would send theirs out. And they didn't have to worry about misdating something. So they just didn't date anything. And then they released this giant PR statement that said, this is available there, this at this time, this time, this time. I think that's pretty obvious because they didn't date anything in the actual video. They've just been probably sitting on this video for a long time. Now, I want to get into this madness that we endured yesterday, Alex. We're going to call the PS5 pre-order madness. <laughs> PS5, what, what, PS5, PS5 pre-order Pandorama. There we go. What? The pre, the pre-order was a mess, clearly. Mm-hmm. Clearly. Sony literally said tomorrow pre-orders will be ready. <laughs> clearly that's not what happened. It, were you, I think they bung, they bundled this really bad. They messed this up. No, for sure. Pre-orders went live almost immediately after the event was over yesterday. Yeah. Apparently, Walmart was first, and then every retailer was like, well, we're not going to be the last ones, and then they, they went live, too. Oh, I'm a, yep. So, mm. it sucks that everyone who can get one, I'm sh- they sold out, I think, almost immediately. Like, within hours, all systems were allocated, so... Sorry if you missed missed out on one. I'm sure there'll be allotments. May, there might be more allocations later on. A few months later, you'll get them. You hopefully you'll get them before De- Decem- December if you're trying to get a Christmas gift. But yeah. wild, wild that it's they let cra- this happen. It's crazy too because I was reading something earlier. It said that there's gonna be more PS5 units at launch than there was PS4. Mm-hmm. There, there at. Uh yeah yeah at launch right because wasn't PS4 like oh god I don't remember was it four million and it's six million uh, this time right I don't remember I think so oh, I'm at, I got it because so. I like, I I mean because like, I don't honestly I don't remember because I didn't pre-order the PS4 I mm-hmm. got it uh I'll cut half me too uh, half six months to a year later I think it, so I, I think mine know, was like a like, year yeah did they sell out the same way um i believe they sold out within a f- the first few months yeah yes yeah they sold out too okay how many units uh, can you fill time for me I'm yeah because my thing was like yeah I, that's what my thing was i was like i for some reason i thought there was a lot more units when the ps4 came out because i don't remember if, if i don't remember if it sold out or not so like when i re- say saw this that i'm it pretty sold sure out, i remember it, it sold out it was just nuts i don't think it was the same like at the same night but i'm pretty sure they sort of now i did remember they made the story that they had to reduce the production by four million so that means they're yeah. making six million for because originally it was going to be 10 million by end of quarter four which is in march i believe so mm. i believe hold on let me see this this is tech spot 
Um, See, and that's what's this crazy. is this um, is Rob Thuburn on TechSpot. Sony reportedly reducing PS5 production by four million units due to SOC, SOC issues. Um, I believe this is the uh, chip in their systems were giving them issues. Um, let's see. According to a new report, Sony has cut, cut the estimated production for the next-gen console by four million to around eleven million by the end of March. So by by the end of March, they're expecting to make eleven million and probably have a, around that shipped out. Um, they are reportedly aimed to produce 10 million consoles before the end of 2021. That's or 2020, sorry, before the end of 2020. That seems crazy, but I could see that happening. Um, so there, 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 there might be refreshes on these uh, while they slowly make more. Um, so this is this has been a mess. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just it's it's just nuts. Because mm. uh, I mean, like. In, uh, let me see. No, it's. I just when I saw the thing, it said um that it would have more than PS4 at launch, but then there's they still had to cut back their production. Uh, the production yeah, is by four like, million. I just think back now to PS4. I'm like, mm-hmm. PS4 didn't have a lot of uh, productions either, or a lot of units either. Yeah, but I don't think it was in as much high demand because this seems like it's gonna be almost one of the most popular gets in a long time mm-hmm. i think um i i this is whew, i'm i this was crazily handled it i remember i think gamestop crashed i think best buy crashed like I mean, I so many places crashed. pre-order went out until you text me and say hey they're pre-orderable go get one yeah i yeah we i i yeah we, i pre-ordered mine and luckily alex was able to grab one yeah alex was able to pre-order his so we we we're good. <laughs> now we're yeah. looking towards to the twenty second. I it it's yep. it sucks because this hurts literally only like their their fans. The, like like they said, Sony said the head I believe it was head of uh, marketing said that you will have plenty of time to to pre order the system. No, you had an hour. <laughs> you had an hour heads up that you could pre order this system. The, the, I don't know why they, they messed this up so bad. There was clear issues in their in, in their talks with marketing. There were clear issues in actual execution as well. As, and we can also bring up that they're having issues with the first party because originally they were like, oh, we believe in generations. You know, We want the new PS5 games to only work on PS5 because we're pushing the envelope. Yeah. That's a lie because all these games are on PS4. Even Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is. So, so mm. there seems to be a complete mismanagement of the actual PR talk and, your, and the actual higher-ups in their decision-making. Yeah, there, there, there's stuff going on. There's some, there. there's some issues. I smell it. I know. Mm. I know, Alex. Now, I'm wondering with the pre-order thing, I'm wondering if they weren't supposed to and somebody put it out and there were so many pre-orders already, they were like, well, screw it. Might have let it happen. Yeah, that's a good question. How does that work, right? I'm assuming if if Sony specifically said you will not have pre-orders live until tomorrow, like period to the retailers, I would assume assume they would have agreed with them. But maybe that's not how it works. Uh, but I mean, it was clear Walmart was the first one. Walmart said, "Oh, you, oh, you think we're gonna make you wait till tomorrow?" Like it was a tweet. Nope, you can do it now. Nope. And it's like, what? That's not. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what we said. And then it went. It just went be- beyond to where they they can be like, "Whoa, I can, we can't do anything about it now." Yep. And they're all gone. So that sucks. I yep. I, I I feel for retailers. They're gonna be. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be getting destroyed with with questions. It's gonna mm-hmm. be rough, <laughs> Alex. Overall, what'd you think? Um, I mean, so far I'm excited. I can't wait to get ready. Yeah, me too. Um, I think the actual speaking to their audience was god awful. The event yeah, was yeah. amazing. Uh, yeah. Be, uh, because the actual handing of the pre-order leaves a sour taste in my mouth. The actual event was awesome. The game showcased Ratchet and Clank. All these different games have me very excited for for the future of PS5. But the pre-ordering, the P- the PR mess that is PS5 games are not going to work on PS4. Clearly, they are. Um, mm-hmm. Again, these... like the thing with micro compatible is not working. Watch, watch it. Watch it. Will <laughs> because people are going to. That, 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 that's all, a, all that's, that's an important thing. Bring up Jim Ryan did say today: PS3, PS2, PS1 games will not work on PS5. Will not. It will not work. Just in case you thought it will, it won't. P- 
PS4 games. That's he said he said 99% of PS4 games are going to work on PS5. What is that 1%? What's the I have no idea. Yep. Maybe some random Japan game or something or some random small indie title. I have no idea. But that's what he said. It, that seems like a very weird oddly specific number <laughs> as if he because you either know or you don't know right like either you I, know I, that it's all of them mm-hmm. or you don't know and you say 99 percent because that's I that's what i would say be like i and 99 percent of them will work like because in my mind he's probably means the popular games like hey you're the games you're you want to play yes they're gonna work Fushi Mami 35 probably not gonna work that little small indie game you bought for four dollars that's specifically tied to some architecture in ps4 and it won't work on ps5 hey may, maybe that won't work but we can it, we'll only know when this I, thing launches um now see i don't know how many games is in that one percent but now that i think of it they're saying all those games are going to work does that mean that I don't know if they've said it. Is my VR going to work with my PS5? Yes, they did say that was compatible. That was a while ago. Oh, okay. So they did say that was compatible. So I so I can play my PS4 VR games on my PS5. Yes. Okay. As, that's what as far as I like, understand, I yes. Wanted, if I'm uh, wrong, to it is. Play my beat saber. Yeah, same, right? P- yeah, beat saber. I'm curious on. I'm assuming it's just gonna load. Right, PS5 loads, I see the UI, I go over to my library, I click my library, and it shows all my games on PS4, correct? Right? That's assumably how it's going to work. What, to be an emulator? Oh, God. <laughs> Why don't they just put emulators on the thing? Did you see the, um? oh, this is off topic, but did you see the Mario thing? What? So, the Mar- so the 3D All-Stars. I want to oh, s- yeah. say, what is it? Um... What do, what are the games? I think oh so, so I think Super oh, Mario sixty four is work, and no I, I got it now Super Mario sixty four is running on the Switch natively. Okay. Sunshine and uh, Galaxy are running on emulators, so Galaxy is running on a Wii emulator and Sunshine's working on apparently a GameCube emulator. I might have Sunshine and sixty four mixed up. But basically, those those who were running on emulators and people thought that was interesting. I thought it was kind of cool. Huh. So that so the actual game is running some sort of emulation to make it think it's a Wii and then you play it. Yeah. Weird. It but makes sense. I'm they probably use the they probably use the the Dolphin emulator um, a program on the Switch. <laughs> Could you imagine? I assume they use their own, the right? I assume they. I don't think they use Dolphin. I don't know. But um, yeah, no, the 64 one is probably the only one that's running on the Switch mm-hmm. because they they're still working probably on doing the whole, um, uh, what was what was the thing called uh, red the retro game stuff that works on there. The the um, online service that you can pay for and you just play the games. Yeah, yeah, like you know how there's the SNES Nintendo, and NES. It's just Nintendo Switch online service and then the NES like app. You just no, I know, I, but I, there, there was a thing that it, it used to be called. I forgot. I forget what it's called. Oh, I don't know. Um, but I'm wondering if they're adding. Maybe this is probably one of the first games that they'll probably add a 64 one. Uh, no. You don't no. think so? No. God no. It's just gonna run off the the thing. It's just running an emulation in the programming. I don't think. I I don't think they have any intention to go to Nintendo 64 and GameCube emulation, and unless they are backed into a wall and they have to make money. That's why they hmm. stopped at um uh okay. super nintendo classics because they needed to make money and they just made money until they stopped needing to make money and they stopped so that's that's the sad unfortunate reality of nintendo they're weird and don't like to make a lot of money at once they like to spread it out it's weird <laughs> i don't know i don't know i can complain about yeah. nintendo all the time but back to sony because this is this this is all you sony fanboys episode what did you think overall was what's that one game that you thought was spectacular and you can't wait for Hogwarts. Hogwarts is very exciting. Um, and uh, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man for me. Hogwarts is close second. I cannot wait for more of this. I need even more of all of this. I think, Alex, we went over just about everything today. I don't think we missed anything, which is pretty, pretty good. What 
do you have queued up for the week, Alex? I am a very excited to talk more PS5 stuff. Mm. Um, of course, with price, launch, all that stuff. Uh, do you think this was... In t- you know what? Let's skip queued up. I want to ask another question. Do you... Do you think it was wise to go first with the pre-orders? Because it was clear that they, the reason they did the pre-orders first was to go in front of Microsoft. Do you think, in the end, that was a good choice? Um, I feel like yes. If they would have handled it correctly, this yeah. was not handled very correctly. No, so it wasn't. It was a mess. So they pretty much bombed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. yeah. Did you see, see like, the well, at least Xbox? I mean, it's 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 scheduled. You're like, all right. I know this day I'm gonna go. So everybody is, that they are will have a chance. Not no not no like not everybody had a chance. Right, correct. To to get the PlayStation that they wanted to. What did so you know about it? What did you think of uh did, I don't know if you saw did you see the Xbox tweet? Uh no, I did not. This is, they they made like fun of PlayStation where they tweeted out like, "Hey, don't worry. We get we'll give you advance notice what hour it will go available f- at retailers." Oh, okay. <laughs> don't worry we're not gonna we're not gonna go early or anything like no, it was it was just really funny to, to point out in the middle of all the chaos and madness last night they were like mm. hey we're good it's gonna be at 11 a.m um i think eastern 11 a.m and then your local equivalent in time yeah i think i, I think it's uh, i think i did see that yeah which is cool um yeah xbox pre-orders are next 22nd very excited alex no- november 12th we'll be able to get our hands on a ps5 Yes, we can. Incredibly excited. And how excited are you? Are, are you guys picking one up? We, of course, Alex and I are picking up the physical edition. What are you picking up? Digital? Physical? Are you opting out and getting something else? Let us know in the comments down below and make sure you can tweet at us. If you want to be involved in the show, you can, of course, head over to patreon.com slash ggtvers and utilize the DM service. For only a dollar, you can use that as the DM service. Let us know any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, and or ideas. Thank you so much for joining in. Remember, take a second, just hit like on that video. That's all. Just hit like on the video if you're listening on YouTube. If you're on a podcast service, take a second, leave a five-star review. I'll read it if you leave a five-star review on any platform. I will read whatever you put there. Thank you again for listening. Remember, go Chief. Go Chief.